welcome to PCR London Val 2023. My name is Maurizio Taramasso from uh, Switzerland and I have the privilege to be here with Peter Ludicke from Essen, Germany to discuss a little bit, bit about the Pascal Precision System. So Peter, you are one of the most experienced implanter in Europe. Can you tell a bit us uh, why Pascal Precision is making the difference in treating patients with mitral and tricuspid regurgitation and which are the peculiarity of this system? Yeah, thank you for this interesting question and I'm um, really surprised to can give an answer because I was quite happy with the early version of the Pascal system when we started to work with this system in 2019. I was surprised because it was a very gentle system that respected the anatomy of the mitral valve and I was not used to such a gentle system and we learned very quickly that this is an advantage for the procedures because we didn't overcome anatomical resistances. And um, some interventionalists um, struggled uh, that steering was not so easy with the first generation. And so Edwards came very quickly up with the second generation, the precision system. And uh, this was an um, impressive improvement. I didn't expect it to be honest because the responsiveness of the system, so the steering became more direct. And um, what, what was the most important um, aspect for me was that we didn't lose the respect of the anatomy. So it's still um, a soft system, but with easy steering, direct responsiveness. And what we learned is that the procedures became quicker. I think it's a combination of precision and experience. But this is um, actually the, the key aspects that I see um, with a precision system. And um, this is not only on the mitral side, but also on the tri tri tricuspid side. What, what is your experience? You're also an experienced interventionalist. Um, what, what is your, your um, perspective when you look on the mitral valve? Yeah, I cannot agree more. I think precision is really the right name for this technology because it's actually really accurate intuitive and predictable. Uh, regarding mitral, there are, you know, some anatomy. Mitral is a complex structure. We have different etiology. We have uh, different type of anatomy that we have to treat. We have degenerative MR with big flail gap. We have commissural lesion. We may have a functional MR with tethering. We may have valve with calcification. So the combination of the elasticity and the respectfulness of the, of the anatomy together with a delivery system and a catheter which is extremely precise and accurate in targeting the lesion without too much manipulation, I think is really making the difference, not only in the everyday clinical practice, but especially in those cases where we need something to, to make the difference to achieve great results. The typical example is a really commissional yeah. roll-ups or flail. But I think this is extremely important also for, for tricuspid. Can you tell us why these features are even more important probably for tricuspid? I think with tricuspid there is a, a special situation that is parallel to um, the mitral side when you have a large atrium in patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, which is very, very common, more common in the tricuspid disease uh, community or society. And um, what we learned with the first version of the Pascal system is that when we have a very high puncture height on the mitral side or a very large atrium on the tricuspid side, then the stability was not always perfect. And since we often need to pull a little bit the free right ventricular wall towards the septum when we do a tricuspid edge-to-edge -edge repair, we need stability to perform this um, so-called Tarzan maneuver. And this is a, um, a large and um, impressive improvement when we learned that the precision system, even in large atria with, with, with a height roughly five centimeters above the valve, is no problem for the, for the system to, to pick up the, um, the leaflet and just pull it over to the septum and perform a safe and fast procedure. So I think this is an, a big advantage and these anatomical considerations are very important that you know we have a system that is stable and um, predictable in this kind of, of anatomy. What is your experience um, when we regard this specific consideration on the mitral side? Yeah, I think uh, precision means uh, accuracy. So we are really able to put the device where we want uh, to avoid any trouble like entrapping in corde. Mm -hmm. um, means also intuitivity. So the steering of the device and the uh, maneuvering is really intuitive and reproducibility. I think we are 
really now on a good way to know in both mitral and tricuspid side on how to perform any and how to plan any kind of procedure and in a reproducible way. But precision means also predictability, I think. I think you are probably the, the, the first one in Europe to introduce this context of predictability in tier. You, you are also the PI of the predictability study. Can you tell us a bit more what does it mean predictability in this context for you? Which are your observations and why precision is so predictable? I think these are two aspects. Um, the first aspect is what is predictability. We know from the uh, first generations of MitraClip, we know in the first generation of the Pascal device that there are patients where we see that what we see in the echo, that the color jet um, signal alters when we release the device from the steering catheter. So in anatomies where we have a small valve opening area, where there's a high gradient or calcification, where we know upfront it will not be possible to put a second device in this patient because of an increased gradient, we need to rely on that what we see at a point when we still can uh, pull it out again, that what we see at this very moment is stable also after the release from the steering catheter. And what we learned in the very early days of, of Pascal, that this is quite rare that we see an alteration with the Pascal system. We see even a large proportion of, of um, anatomies where the mitral uh, regurgitation signal even becomes better or less. And what we try to figure out now is how to quantify this. Is it, a, is, is it an, an issue at all when there is a little bit more MR after releasing it or not? And we want to, to figure out which anatomy is really prone for uh, deterioration after release. Because our aim must be that we have um, a nearly 100% rate of 0 and 1 plus. And I think the precision system, and this is what we learned in the current um, IIT right now, in the very early phase of this uh, multicenter registry, that the precision system is still a very predictable system despite it improved its responsiveness and, um, and um, maneuverability. So I think the system is on, on, on the right way. And uh, there is much more to learn about these anatomies which are prone um, for a bad result. It was uh, a great discussion, Peter. Thank you for uh, Thank giving you. us the opportunity to discuss a little bit the, the future of Pascal Precision. Uh, I, I wish you a great uh, further continuation of the meeting and I would like to thanks also the audience for having listening us to discuss this interesting topic. Thank you.